Bonjour, French ladies. Do you have a messy bag? Well, you've come to the right place. In this video, this is exactly what I am going to chat about, and I will show you such a simple way to have an organized handbag. We've all been there with a messy handbag, it's raining, you're holding your umbrella, you've got a speak bag full of things, and you're looking for your compact, for your money, for your keys, for your phone, your phone is ringing, and you know, you tip it upside down, and of course what you are looking for is always at the bottom of the bag, yes? Can you relate to this? Please let us know your worst messy handbag story in the comments below. Can you believe that 10 years ago, I wrote in my How to be Chic and Elegant book about handbag organization. A little trick for when you switch handbags is to buy or make yourself a type of draw bag in a, sand, in a soft material. It will be so much easier to transfer this draw bag into another handbag in one fell swoop with all the items in it. I will never leave anything behind again. Maybe I should have listened to my own advice and marketed this idea. Unfortunately, somebody beat me to it. I am going to show six handbags and how we can organize them. So first of all, I am going to show you <laughs> my largest tote bag. This one I have bought recently. It is from Joule. It is in Tweed. I think it's gorgeous. And it is um, very much lookalike from a Ralph Lauren tote bag, but at a fraction of the price. Anyway, I have been using it a few times and one of the reasons why I have bought it, look at this, I mean, it's very roomy and it comes with a little bag attached. So I think this is what I am talking about in my book, an inside organizer like this. So I really love this bag. Otherwise it comes in empty like this, but you have this bag. So this one, you carry all your bits and you can, you know, transfer that in the home, tr you know, transfer that into another bag of the same uh, gabarit, <laughs> the same size. That is very practical, okay? So looking in there, I have so much stuff. I have my two journals here. If you haven't got those cell journals, I'll put the link below this video. Uh, fantastic to carry in the handbag. Look. I've got so much. I even got my husband's cap. Yes, it is yours. What are you doing in my handbag? I don't know if your husband is like mine, but whenever we go somewhere, he gives me his wallet, his, his cap, his scarf, everything to carry around because I have this. What you will see that it's great, carries everything, but it is not organized. I still have to go through everything to find the thing that invariably is always at the bottom. So please let us know again if this is your case. I'm going to show you now another handbag with a different organizer. This one is from the Cambridge Satchel Company. Absolutely gorgeous that I have had recently. I did a video about this handbag when I was in Paris. So look at this beautiful handbag, but it contains a lot because I have used it in Paris to carry all my stuff. It does carry so much, absolutely fantastic. Even the bottle of water in there, we had the camera, we had everything. And it's a tote bag that closes. So it's great for security reason as well. It has a pocket inside. So again, it contains a lot, but you know, if you put everything in there, it is not organized. So look what I bought for it. Absolutely the perfect organizer. Where is it? Oh, there it is. <laughs> this organizer here, lightweight in felt. And I will put the link to everything below this video, don't forget, and to this as well. I bought it in brown, and it goes perfect for the handbag. So let's have a look at this organizer. Lightweight, again, I cannot stress this enough because when you carry your tote around, you will put lots of things, it will get heavy. So you need an organizer that is light, that weighs, that weighs absolutely nothing, so you don't add weight to your handbag. So let's have a look at the outside. It has little handles like that. So again, you can transfer the contents from one handbag to the other. I think that's really good. It also has poppers. Again, you can close it in your handbag to keep things in. Again, I like that. And look at the outside, two pockets here, two pockets on the other side. And you have two pockets on the inside here and a zip and the inside. 
I mean, that is a really good one. Or again, here, you know, it can go into a slimmer handbag or a larger handbag. So now let's have a look when I put it in the tote. Up. So it has to be a little bit smaller, otherwise it won't fit. But look at that. So it is perfect, a little bit lower than the, you know, than the top here. But it fits in well and I can put all my things. So let's have a look. So my journal, for instance, I can put it here on the outside because you still see it. I can put it in the pocket. That would be nicely organized. Look, you can pick it up straight away and you can put your pen at the side. If you wanted to, you can put your pens here. Next, the wallet can go in. You can put it standing up. You can put it at the bottom. You can put it in the pocket. A tip is to put things vertically so you can reach them really easily and you save on space. Okay, so now even the iPad, I can put it on the side here. Now you have a space. You see, instead of having one big space, now you have one, two and three. You have three spaces, so you can put it here. You can put it inside the bag here. You have a spare one here. So you can do what you want really. You can put it here. If you have some smaller ones, your phone for instance, you have pockets on the outside. You have pockets, another pocket there. Look at that. And it's still tidy. Your keys, you can put that you can put your keys at the front here. Again, you know, straight away when you open it, your journal is here, your keys there, and your purse and everything else, tidy. And you know, when you start organizing like this, you will know always, you will tend to use the same place for your purse, the same place for your phone, same place for your keys. So for instance, you out of your house, it's raining, you're holding your umbrella, you open your handbag, you know straight away where your keys will be, they will be there in the same place. Next, I have another tote bag, and this one is my business one. When I go to my accountant or business meetings, I like to have this. I usually bring my laptop, I have other documents, and this is a very good handbag. This one is from Aspinall. It is a heavy one because it's full leather, but I don't tend to over put things in it because I don't carry it over my shoulder, and as it is a handbag, you know, I can take the weight. But it has two zip pockets on either side and that is very good for instance for your for laptop for instance or documents but here in the middle it has a huge compartment so you can put lots of stuff in it again that could be very messy so another organizer now is the rigueur i have bought this one look at this so it's smaller than the brown one and it has a pocket here two little pockets at the front and pockets again on the inside and it has those little poppers. So you can see that this one, you can put it in a wide handbag because you can it will flatten here. Again, that's a light one. Put it here, you could think, but it could be a little bit higher, that is true, but, but when it closes, it fits perfectly between the pleat here of the leather. And let's not forget, I've got this popper. So if it was higher, I may have a problem to close this, but as it is lower, you see, it fits perfectly. When I open it, I will have all my things here neatly put. Don't forget that I would have some other stuff here. So that will be very, very handy because I have been to meetings when I have stuff in it and where's my pen, where's my phone, where's my this, where's my that. With this, everything would be in the pockets. And I don't know about you, but you know, if I open my handbag and I think so, I see things neatly put in, I'm already relaxed. If you're so zen, you know, if everything is messy, and I, you know, oh, it, it makes you feel frustrated, um, not in a happy state. Especially if I have to see my banker or my um, accountant, I like to feel whew, relaxed because it's. Not always a happy and relaxed situation. Now, I have some more. I have three bags here. The next one I've got is the cutest handbag ever. It's from Cambridge Satchel Company. And it has a little compartment at the front. So that's really good for your phone or your keys. But in the middle again, it's even though it's small, it's still just one compartment with nothing else. So you can still organize it. This is so cute. 
Again, I will put the, uh, the link below. They now have this satchel but with tweeds at the front. Ah, so cute. So I have this one. Tiniest of organizer. I think it's so cute. So light, I don't even feel it. It's like a, a glove. So, so light. It has a zip. That's cute. And it has a little compartment in the middle and two pockets. This is so, so cute. So let's have a look. I'm going to put that here. This fits so well. A little bit high here, as you can see, but it's still closed. When it's closed, you know, you don't see it. Admittedly, the color could be different. And I'm thinking of changing it into another color. So what do you think the color you know, would be best for this handbag? I'm thinking of either an you know, off-white or um, dark blue maybe, or even burgundy. Please let me know what you think would be the best for this handbag. As I say, it closes fine and, you know, look how well things would be organized. So now let's have a look in the other handbags. So this one is from Kurt Geiger. I don't quite know how to pronounce it. Please let me know how you pronounce it. Kurt Geiger, Kurt Geiger, I don't know. I pronounce uh, his name the French way. Kurt Geiger. So this is a handbag. And again, you've got two compartments, so a small one here and a larger one here. So again, things could get lost, even though it is not a big handbag. Fits perfectly. It is a little bit lower. Again, I have a patch here. I have another pocket here. So you have one there on either side. You have the pockets inside and on, you know, on here again and the zip. So again, that would be good. Everything put there. And you know, you don't feel it, it doesn't take any space. So the third handbag is a vintage one. This one is quite old now. It's from Guess. And again, you have a few pockets here and on the side, but again, the middle, you know, can do with an organizer. So again, I'm putting it here. Look, this is absolutely perfect. Low here, and but that is no problem at all. Actually, it fits really well, I think. And the color, it's fine, I think, for this handbag. So, please let me know what you think of each of these inserts, bag inserts, bag organizers. Again, I will put the link to, to all those below this video. So please let us know your stories about messy handbags and how you organize your handbag.